as you can see, I didn't like that first composition. So now that I understand what I want with my background, it was easy to, to wipe that off, come back in with a little bit of color, I'll wash it in there again, and then start over again. Now I have a more firm grasp of the composition that I want. The reason why I wiped all of that off and s instead of just painting around them and cutting into them is this is kind of a one-shot dill the way that I've used the background. I want to keep that spontaneous washed in feeling for the background. So I'm going to have to place these flowers where I want them and then develop them up as much as possible without altering the background. And if I have to, I'll come in and touch up here and there, but I'll try to keep my touch-ups so that they work with the background as it is, so that they it feels as if it was spontaneous, done in, in one shot, and it was so clearly thought out that it didn't need any any editing or um, erasing or changing that way. So I want to keep that that feeling as, as long as I can in there. And you notice as I as I put some of those strokes down with the lila or with the hollyhocks, I let the brush kind of shoot out from some of the edges. So you'll see the the distinct brush strokes or um, bristles of the brush and that's to break up those edges I don't want necessarily hard crisp edges everywhere if you look out in nature you're just not going to see that because values intermingle and a lot of other things at play out there it breaks up those edges so I do that easily with my brush I have to say that it's not always easy for me to to paint this way because I do like to brandish my brush around and just let it kind of play. I like to let it just have some freedom to move around and swashbuckle and all that sort of thing. Keeping a tight rein on the brush, or at least a tighter rein than, than I might normally do, takes some discipline and a lot of forethought. So in putting in these hollyhocks and even the the buds and other things that I'm putting in there, the leaves and buds, I'm thinking a lot about the size of the shapes, making sure that I don't get a symmetrical arrangement of similar shapes, sizes, that sort of thing. I try to vary. Some of these hollyhocks are going to be from the side, some directly facing us others turned away from us and that's so that it has a, a variety and asynchronous feeling to it. Alright, so I I'm actually going to have to change those. If you notice, I just put both of those leaves so that they are creating a line or a, almost like an arrow shaft directing the viewer right out of the painting. I don't want a strong line pushing the viewer out or cutting the, the painting into sections. So I'm going to want to vary the direction of one of those leaves.
And here I am playing with light and shadow. So I started off with the brighter colors of the stems and leaves, more of the sun-drenched ones, and now I'm coming in and putting in some shadow work on there. Give it more of a three-dimensional quality of light and shadow. Lay it in sideways like that. Sometimes I can leave it that way, and then other times I can, I'll just come in, lay that in sideways, take my brush, drag down through it, and I have plenty of paint there to create some fun textures and to get some brush strokes working in it. I love seeing the, the actual bristles of the brush in the painting. It helps to let the viewer know that this is a painting and not a photograph, and that it, it was manipulated by somebody wielding a, an actual paintbrush. Besides that, there's something about paint texture. Just, it has a tangible quality that has always been appealing to me. I used to paint very thick. There was about a five year period where I'd have about a quarter inch, sometimes more, of paint sticking off the canvas, all up and down the canvas. It was a lot of paint. In fact, when I used to paint on canvas with stretcher bars, I'd have so much paint on there that the canvas would wobble back and forth with the weight of the paint on there. So I got from that a, a real love for that kind of texture. So even though I try to be a little more subtle now than my work was then, I still like to get the combination of thick and thin paint working in there. Okay, so here we're working with some, some dark hollyhocks, but when the sun comes through, especially on the back sides or up through the where the hollyhock petals meet in the middle, there's a they're actually open often in their holes coming through and the light shines in that space. What I'm doing when the when the light comes through and you're seeing it from the back side, oftentimes you'll you'll get a very rich luminosity of that light coming through. That's what I'm trying to capture with those reds. Now I won't leave them necessarily like they are as strong as they are. I'm gonna do quite a bit of small manipulations and subtle shifts throughout it. But right now what I'm trying to do is experiment and determine the extent of the luminosity that I'm, I'm going to leave in there, whether I want more or less, whether I want those highlights to be warmer or cooler. I'll play for a little while. Once in a while I'll put down some colors and the first time I do it, it just works. I think that's it. I like it. It's good. And I'm all done, and then other times I will experiment, possibly until it's overworked. Unless I feel very strongly about it, I'm going to keep working it until it's right. Until, I've, I, until it's, I can't say right, what is that? That's kind of a relative term. Until it's the way I envisioned it. Or maybe until my wife comes in and says it's done. She's kind of my second set of eyes. None of my paintings are really complete until she comes in and gives the say, say so on it. After 25 years of marriage, she's gotten pretty good at that. Thanks for stopping by. Now get out there and paint your own masterpiece. Oh, and before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in any of my videos, just go to my website at InmanFineArts.com and you can find them all there. Have a great day painting.